we're gonna look at five tips on making working on this Yamaha Modi X a lot easier. So tip number one is gonna involve when you go into any of the screens, editing, whatnot, and you want to say change some of the parameters, you see how it's blurry in the background? And it makes it really hard to kind of see sometimes or I don't know, it just, it, to me, it, it makes me feel like my eyes are going bad, which they probably are. But there's a way to get rid of that blur and make the screen a lot easier to see. And especially helps in times like these when I'm filming the screen. You go into Utility, System, and Settings, of course, System. You see right here, UI, and it has Blur. Turn that off. And now when you go in and you go to any of these other screens, now it's a pure screen. It's got nice background. You don't see anything but the screen that you're working on. And easier on the eyes, I would say. Next tip is taking screenshots. When you t put together some of these, especially these FM parts, and you have all these operators, and I'm, I'm playing with one right now, I'm going to be doing a video on that uh, I built this pad and it's got all these operators, eight operators and I just want to make sure I keep a record of this and what all the settings are because you go in here and there are a lot of parameters each one and some of these have different forms than the others some are sine waves, some have res 2 and I've also assigned some of the switches so a way you can keep these screens is you go over here to AD input and you press that AD input switch and way over here the audition switch hold down AD input and press audition that just took a screenshot of that and it will be found on the USB stick you have to have a USB stick installed in the back but um, it'll make a copy of that screen onto the USB. So the next tip involves assigning the parameter you want to change and tweak to one of the knobs here. And the way you do that is when you go through and you're editing your part, you will find that say some of these parameters you notice how this light is off this control assign light is off but if I hit some of these the controls assign light is lit for instance I when I do the level attack it's not lit and what that means is that those elements that when it lights up you can assign to these buttons or to the mod wheel and so an easy way to do that and to tweak your parts is to for instance I'm going to use the uh, I got the fifth operator here and because of the wave I'm using it's got resonance so when I hit resonance it lights up I'm going to hit control assign and you can control it either to a uh, you can assign it to a motion sequence lane or an envelope follower or you can just tweak the knobs. I'm going to tweak this one right here and what that's done is assigned that parameter to this knob and it brings up the assign mod control assign page and as you can see I got knob uh, auto select on so when I turn the knobs it tells me what those knobs are controlling that's another tip. When you want to see what your knobs are controlling, go, hit auto select and turn the knobs and see how mod wheel doesn't have anything so it comes up blank but the first one is assigned to resonance, the second one is assigned to feedback level and third knob is operator resonance. And you can also change here the curve type bipolar or uni and change the ratio so you can increase the effect 
And this is, we're just hearing it right now. We're hearing the effect on three here. Some of the effects can be pretty extreme, so you bring this down. And you also have a number of curved types in here you can choose from. Let's try bell on this one. I find that the standard works really well. Uh, let's look at tilt sign though. We brought down the ratio so much, it might not have as much effect. Let's see. using these sliders here to help design your FM sound patches. So when you're designing an FMX sound and you have all these operators here, you can use these sliders to help design the sound in a much quicker and easier way than going in and playing with your levels here for instance. So I have, I'm going to call up one of these demos here and edit it. So see the level 63 and then operator 2 is 76 and then, so you can go through and hit these levels and bring these up and then go to the next one and start mixing in the different operators to see how they affect the overall sound and, and the harmonics that are produced but a much easier way I've found is you go in here, you got to make sure that the light here is on element operator. So next to your sliders you have part and you have element operator, it's the bottom light. And then underneath that you have one through four and you also have five through eight. And what that's doing is once it's on element operator, that light there, element operator, one through four. What you can do is you clear all this. I'm going to do the same thing for five through eight. So what I did is I just brought everything down to zero. None of the levels are on for this patch right now. And then you start bringing in what you have. So very simply I've just brought in, well that's five through eight. Let's start from the beginning here. Let's go from one. bringing in part two, sorry, operator, one through four are now coming in. So, as you can see, you can really design the sound. And see how these different parts and waves affect each other because the levels that you bring in will produce different waveforms. And also so we can do that with five through eight. Sound.
tells you up on there. Oops. It, it'll tell you when you play with it up on your readout which one you're playing with. Here's five. Here's seven. Eight. One. And helps you to, help you to design the sound that you're looking for. So say you were looking for something with a little harmonic buzz like that, you would use this setup. And once you, once you find something you like, then you go ahead and store it and um, keep all those settings locked. <laughs> Okay, I got time for one more. We're gonna look at all uh, how to go through and check out your algorithms here uh, in your common. Uh, let's go to say, so the sound I was just looking at, you have your algorithm page under part settings and we can start going through these algorithms, we'll select it, play a sound. algorithms that you're looking at. So you see that, how it's changing? And of course, play with a little feedback. This last tip was actually so in-depth that I devoted an entire video to the subject of going through the 88 algorithms on the Modi X. And I'll link it here, right here in this last frame. But make sure you check it out and please subscribe for more of these sound design tutorials. Enjoy and cheers.